about 500 or less. And that is remarkable because, Jay, quite frankly, you just can't do more than that. There's a the limit to how much stone you have to produce a Today's Special piece. Well, you know, that's the, that's the key thing with uh, any kind of Today's Special is having you know, the way we work from the natural rough materials is having enough of the natural rough materials. So here again, the, the main thing that you need to understand about this is the adjustability of this piece. So you're buying one design, but you're getting all different ways that you can wear it so and cool. all the different looks. And if you buy the different ones, if you buy the aqua, the lapis, the turquoise, these are great layering pieces. But these are gonna be to-go-to pieces that you're constantly um, gonna be accessorizing with. It's not something that mm. you're gonna buy, you know, have it, it goes in the jewelry box and it never comes out again, <laughs> never sees another it's light the of day. Back of the jewelry <laughs> it never, box. never sees the light of day, okay? <laughs> the, these are so, I gotta tell you, it's one of the more, um, I think one of the most functional um, uh, necklaces that we've ever created. And I say that, you know, um, really, um, I mean, we, we do a lot of designs. We probably do more designs in a month than most jewelry companies do in a year. Oh, I bet, yeah. I mean, you we, guys are... we design, that's all we do. If, you know, if you could just see some of the designs that just never even make it, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think it would blow your mind. But this is just something that um, they're, they're so unique, they're so different, but the, the clasp, it took us forever to come up with this clasp that locks, and it truly locks. Now, it doesn't take, a, you, it's not like rocket science to use <laughs> this clasp. That's I mean, true. okay. I, I'm not probably one of the more coordinated people in the world, and I can easily do it. Right. But we haven't had anybody. What's really amazing, everybody is the, on the set today that's been playing with this, because you know they're just now seeing it, everybody, they, it's, they can't, can't stop playing no, with it. So they, keep, they keep holding it, and they adjust it, and they're going, oh, that's cool, and then it locks. So that's the thing. You know, with the rubber grommet ones, yep. if you have yep. any kind of weight, which this does to it, you, they're always going to slip and slide. With these, when you put them in place, if you're going to layer it somewhere and you're going to, you're going to, you want to place it at a certain length, it's going to stay right there. It literally locks in place. All right, just want to show you too, when we're talking about layering, I had fun with the lapis one. So I grabbed a lapis and turquoise necklace and I thought, you know what? I just want to raise that up a little bit to frame it or I could go above it. And guess what? Yes, hallelujah, the ways to wear it. We're going to show you some, but I'm just going to keep grabbing these and show you just everything you can do. It is so much fun to be able to have this kind of versatility. What's interesting is we're just showing you length. We're not showing you take what already you have at home from Jay, whether it's your turquoise, whether it's a lapis, if you have a beautiful aquamarine stone, maybe on a sterling silver necklace you bought from somebody else, and then really transform your wardrobe with this fabulous, a wonderful, very versatile necklace. So there's just three ways in terms of length, but when you really start thinking about it, I think it's endless when you start combining it with what you already have at home. Also, this is a really big deal. We're already about nine minutes in and 1,600 gone that fast. If you want to get a second one, and if you can swing it with our big flex pay and all that kind of good stuff, you're going to get an extra $10 off. So now your second, your third, your fourth goes to $89.95. And really, quite frankly, that is remarkable, remarkable for such a pretty piece. Okay, here's the update. Your sleeper <laughs> one, the Aquamarine indeed is the best selling. We have less than 2,000 left and it's only the very first time anyone has seen this is tonight. We didn't pre-sell it. It wasn't on earlier. You're seeing it for the first times that aquamarine is I think magical because Jay the quality that you got is so beautiful but we want to show some video uh, about where it comes from right and I'd love you to explain the aquamarine story well you know and if, if you see if you see the aquamarine um you know, in the, the biggest thing with the lapis, um, the turquoise, the, lapis. the aqua, <laughs> they're, they're, these are all top, top grade materials, okay? Um, that, that's one of the things that I hope you can always count on us for, is we don't take the bad material, okay? Um, you can see where the aqua oh, is wow. right there. It's right on the, uh, actually on the border of Pakistan. Is it really? Is where the, and, uh, when you go in, it's really funny because of the languages that are spoken in this region, right? Um, and also the remoteness of the of these regions. And um, you know, you always think, or this is a uh, this is where the the um, where yeah. they mine the turquoise um, in Chile. Um, but if you could go on the, these trips and you see how remote 
these areas are. And when you go to these mines and everything, you know, these aren't huge. Well, you saw the pictures of the aquamarine mine, right? Yeah. This isn't some big thing where they've got these huge track hose and, you know, and they've got all this machinery that, th that they're mining. This is all, uh, in Chile, the turquoise is all hard rock mining. Isn't they really? literally go in, they have like little headlamps and they go in and it's, it's all, they chase the vein um, and they, by hand. it's all, all done by hand. It's all hard rock mining wow. and they can't, um, uh, they can't drill and blast because they don't want to fracture the, the material. So there's certain areas where they can do that to clear out, you know, um, overburden or whatever. But you know, most turquoise that you see are, uh, from us anyway, is all a form of open pit mining. This, uh, the Campitos and, and some of the mines that, that I've shown you, this is hard rock mining. And, but you get that, that real clear, clear blue. You look at the aqua, you saw the aqua crystals. I mean, th these, these aren't even specimens, okay? This, you know, you would think that this is specimen grade. This is the, I have specimens that blow your mind. Really? That are, that are in my private collection. But this is just the average on this. Look at the color of this. And that's all natural, okay? It, it hasn't been, there's nothing done to this at all. This, this is how it comes out of the ground. And then of course, the big thing, the lapis. Oh, and I know beautiful. that you see a lot of lapis for me, and then you're saying, well, I know that he's gonna have more lapis, <laughs> but, um, I've got, the only reason you're seeing lapis now, the quality that you're seeing, it, you're seeing materials that I purchased up to two years ago, some of it three years ago. Mm. So I'm working still on old material. How I do it, new material, you know, when like even transporting something, when we go buy the turquoise or we go buy the aqua or we go buy the lapis, you know, it can be up to a year just to get it to from the mine to an area where we could ship it to the lapidary shop. Get out I mean, of here. some of this, I mean, it's not like you call our, our FedEx or UPS. <laughs> <Lapis> RS. <laughs> <laughs> they just show up and just load it up. Hey I guys. mean, um, a lot of places, uh, you know, if you could just, you could make a whole movie on just the logistics of them getting it to an area where they can actually get a wheeled vehicle to it. That's crazy. So it's, it is pretty crazy. And it's, um, I always say this, that if any of these materials could actually tell their story and talk, yeah. It would make a great uh, feature really film. Special, it would yeah. be, a, a, be a movie. If well, you think it really about is all an adventure. The, yeah, well, if you think about all the languages, all the sm uh, smells and all the sights that these materials see in their, in their travel and their trip until they finally get to a finished product, which you get to see here on air. And I just have to give you a quick update. Now already over 2,300 have been ordered. And, and, and you're like, well, you know, why does that matter? I don't have a lot left, uh, quite frankly. Um, we have three great colors and I always say at midnight, sometimes I have to wrap up Jay's event. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to the end of the day and they go, guess what, Suze? You've got one in aqua. And I'm like, really? Great. Okay. And, and I, but I love being on the front end of this because I can guarantee right now I have the matching earrings. We have the great little pendant. We've got these amazing stretch bracelets. I think this rivals the value of the today's special. But if you want versatility, again, it's your mood. It's your clothing. How often do you get an 18 inch necklace with a chain? And you go to put on a button shirt and the actual pendant or the look of the, the necklace is hidden under the shirt. Well, if I want this to be 18 inches and get up here nice and tight, I can. If I want it the full 30 inches, yeah, you can. And now because of that unique locking mechanism, it's anywhere in between. And if you've ever tried one of those little slider things, I've had that little rubble, rubber, like little inner tube in there pop out of it. And then I'm trying to shove the, the thing back over it and it's a nightmare. So of course, Jay said, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna hand make something that's so custom. And that's how he created this fabulous locking mechanism. What's really neat if you want to be very cool is you can turn it this way and yeah. our girls have not shown you that. So the mechanism is so nice and it's so well finished that if you want to turn this around and wear it like a lariat, and you've got you can do little, that. Our and two look, little signature hearts. Look at that. You'll see the very, you guys got to go little really, really tight for me if you will. So, you know, here again, I mean, talk about versatility, right? You've got look at that. super high quality materials in the aqua and the lapis are both faceted. Uh, the, the Chilean turquoise, we, we didn't facet it because uh, we wanted to have something, you know, just clearly. We, you know, we didn't want them um, to all be faceted. But you've got three of our top materials that we have in a design that is totally probably one of the most versatile necklaces I've ever done. There's so many different ways you can wear this. And so here cool. again, uh, you know, I, I, 
never say this. Usually when I do uh, one of these in three different colors, it's at your choice, uh, which you can, you do your favorite. But with the, the deal that you're getting, this is something you really might want to consider getting a couple of, or getting uh, different ones to layer with. Mm -hmm. These are pieces that you will constantly be accessorizing with. This isn't something, uh, because of the adjustability of it, uh, the multi-functions that you can have with it, it's not something that's just gonna sit there forever and not really be used. It, and I think that that's what, um, um, you know, the shame of it is, uh, I, see, um, I see so many, like my wife, uh, she has, I mean, she, she has her own jewelry store, pretty much. <laughs> but what's really funny is I notice that she wears only certain pieces constantly, over and over and over. And um, is she, you know, and I think the reason is, is because maybe she bought that one particular necklace or that one particular bracelet for one particular outfit. These are things that we designed that we try to make them multifunctional. We try to make them for kind of everyday wear that you can dress up with, you can dress down with them. They're just multi, um, multifunctional and you're gonna use them over and over. And look, I think Jay, look how pretty this is. Now this is Jay's collar, which is available. You can ask about that. But isn't this gorgeous? We took that little enhancer drop. This is now framing it. What a pretty story to wear. That's just beautiful. And when you go out and you're wearing great pieces of jewelry like this all of us appreciate it i'll see a woman in peace and i'll be like look at her like i really want to know where she got that that looks gorgeous but you can create whatever you feel like doing if you're wearing a turtleneck in the winter time yeah now you can wear that big chunky turquoise necklace and then add that pop of silver to it you turn around and you say okay i'm wearing a really cute little white blouse and i'm wearing in indigo blue jeans i'm going to pop that beautiful lapis on and i'm going to put it whatever length it can finally go over the collar of the blouse or it can hang very long long on my neck and it really pull those blues into your outfit from your jeans. There's so many ways to be able to wear this and have fun with it, but it is a first. And like I mentioned, I always love midnight because guess what? You have all options right now. I can absolutely guarantee you that's not going to be true later. We're going to take a second look at it. We're already well over what our original projection was just for this first airing. So a little heads up if you're kind of on the fence and you're like, well, he's got two more hours. We got a lot to show you. I say, I would highly recommend that you get it now while we still have all three options available of the almost 3,000 sold about half of that now is in what one aqua the aquamarine you guys are <laughs> loving it and the quality is absolutely spectacular you're going to have that moment when you open up the box and go oh my gosh that's a beautiful aquamarine stone and there's a lot of it talk about the difficulty of doing double facing stones well and here again um this is the artistry of what we do and this is because we have people that are really highly trained. You're, you're talking about highly trained silversmiths, highly uh, trained lapidarists. They cut these and they're double-sided and then they're faceted. So no matter how you, you can't go wrong with this. Yeah. You can't mess up. That's right. No matter what you do, you could, you, there is no front and back. You could, if, if you turn it around, it's gonna look the same, right? It's gonna be faceted on, on both sides. Um, if you think about this though, so how this starts is they, the lapidaris takes the natural aquamarine, takes the natural lapis, takes the uh, Chilean turquoise. Um, they work from the rough materials. I brought the roughs to show you. That's how that all starts. They cut the uh, double-sided cabochons, which is not the easiest thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. So they not, in, in the aquamarine and the lapis, they not only facet one side, they have to facet both sides. Then it goes to a silversmith. Each one, of those cabochons, each one of those bezels that you see that go around that, do you see that that goes around? Those are all individually hand done, mm. every one of them. And then they're all crimped. So they take those and all the, the, all the silver work is hand done around each an individual one of those. So as they get the cabochon, they build the silver work. And then we connect the chain. Now, I don't make the chain, okay? Um, that in this case, I, I'm not a chain, I'm not a chain company, I'm okay? A chain guy. <laughs> but we use um, we use one of the best chain manufacturers in the world uh, out of Italy. They they're known for their quality. We've been working with them for years and years and years. And we didn't really want to do beads with this. We wanted to do something to kind of keep it different, light, yeah. floating. And also the main thing, the key thing here, is the finding that we're using 
which it literally locks in place. So it's not um, like Suzanne was saying with the rubber grommets because it's we crazy. had the rubber grommet nightmares yeah, before. Yeah, where the rubber pops out, <laughs> yeah, you know the, what I'm talking about? Well, well, it doesn't the, stay okay, underneath the, the piece. The problem with the, with the rubber is also the friction. So it's just like anything. If you have friction and you it's keep adjusting out, right? it all the time, yeah. you're gonna wear it out, right? Um, I wanna show this you, actually locks in place. Like it's, it's, it's there, it's not moving. I wanna show you this. This is at 18 inches. This is at 30 inches. I think this is the perfect way to show how versatile this is. Here it is, I've got it as tight as you can wear it, and then I have it as long as you can wear it. That is what Jay's talking about. That is what kind of versatility you have with this. Now